Ziona, the shield provider, the healer, the ultimate support character. But is there any way she can do any damage? Oh, now that's a lot of damage. But how? First, we can take a look at the actual build. In total, we got about 1900 attack, crit rate of 72.7% and 160% crit damage. Of course, that crit rate is coming from the Skyward Harp, which we have as a weapon, but I also tested with the Black Cliff Warboat and got about the same results, actually. Its crit damage substat puts it on about the same level as the five star weapon. An Amos Bow would be the best weapon here, but since I don't have it, the Skyward Harp is my best option. For the artifacts, of course, we got a four-piece Wanderer's Trope, which increases bow character's charge attack damage by 35%, and also increases your elemental mastery by 80, which is a nice bonus. I mostly just took my artifacts for Ganyu and put it on Diona, because they basically do damage in the same way. For the Hourglass, we have Attack. For the Cup, of course, we have Cryo Damage, and we still have above 70% crit rate, even though we have a crit damage circlet, which is insane. For Constellations, I only have C3. I'm hoping to get more in the next update. Date. For talents, I only have level 7 normal attack, so there's lots of improvement to be made there. The team build is almost as important as the main DPS build, so we're gonna go over them here. For sucrose, we have the elemental mastery sucrose build, but instead of the sacrificial fragments, we actually have the thrilling tales refinement 5, which increases the character that they switch into's attack by 48%. For Shaolin, we have the four piece instructor set, which when triggering an elemental reaction raises the whole party's elemental mastery by 120 and of course for bandit we have the four piece noblesse so let's see how these team functions together so first we'll just try diona by herself shooting at the weak spot we can get about 8400 damage pretty normal number for a charged arrow shot with sucrose's squirrel we can get up to about 13,000. again pretty normal this time with shen ling we can get about 30,000 damage so we can see where this is going now let's follow it up with everybody on the team so including bennett and we can get up to 42,000 damage. Now, of course, we can increase this even more by getting some food buffs. So with the food buffs, we can get about 53k damage on the first shot, but that's not over. So there's this trick that people do to show off damage for their characters. If you go into the spiral at best, floor seven, you can actually see the ley line disorder increases your crit damage by 120%. Although you cannot use food buffs in the spiral abyss, but this 120 crit damage increase is worth way more than any food can give you. On top of that, every chamber, you can choose one of three buffs, which will increase your damage even more. On floor 7, we do the same thing, and the damage we get is simply astounding. You get 70,000 plus damage on Diona. So you might be asking, is this build actually worth it? Is it usable in everyday life? Well, I'm gonna say no. Diona just isn't born to be a DPS character. Everything about her suggests a support role. She can do shields, she can heal, she can do anything that's not damage. So here I'm shooting the Diona. Iona build I actually use in the Spiral Abyss. So as you can see, we have a two-piece Maiden and two-piece Exile. Yes, I have a level five four-star artifact. So for the artifacts, I just try to put everything into HP percentage, which increases the health of her shield and her healing. To get an idea of how strong her shield is, we can take a lot of hits from these guys before the shield even breaks. Since we have the Sacrificial Bow, we can actually use the shield twice. So if it breaks, we can do it immediately again. Her shield is also more effective against cryo attacks so I can actually just stand here and not take any damage you've probably tried this domain to get some cryo or hydro artifacts probably encountered this attack where the big guy insta shots some of your characters well with her shield you can actually survive this attack I definitely recommend this build for Diona you don't even need to invest that much you can have four star artifacts unleveled artifacts and she'll still be very good as a support other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you next time